I started working large scale uh, before the COVID lockdown, but it, and, and I did that in order to make paintings that were um, essentially bigger than me. I think with COVID, they became kind of like a compatriot, sort of a friend that I was working on, this thing that could talk back to me and kind of resist my motions. And so I was in my studio, I had a canvas that was stretched on the wall and I came in and looked at it and I said, oh, you know, this is kind of like a dare. Um, why not actually kind of draw it on the, on the canvas and sort of let it be part, visually part of the work. And then there was a, a kind of a process that changed um, that I think had more to do with COVID and the uh, sort of political unrest and the um, uneasiness around the last election and instability that was kind of in our lives. So I started using words in my paintings. It seemed like I wanted to ground my paintings in something else during that time period other than, say, color or form or gesture or stuff like that. Um, so then I started working on a series of work that used um, words as um, kind of the um, beginning force in the art work. The purpose wasn't to illustrate the word but the but but was to have the the act of painting engage with that concept. Um, they were, you know, ideas that could guide or talk to the painting in the process of making the paintings. Um, I mean, I make these big paintings that I understand there isn't really any kind of market, but it's kind of how I like to work and. Um, you know, I had a lot on my plate prior to the COVID year, and I think I was trying to just maintain in a lot of ways. And so I think what you've seen is years and years of um, waiting to step out of um, the constraints of some other things that I needed to take care of in my life. Actually, I've sort of liked my COVID life. I've always been fairly focused, but it focused me even more in terms of my routine and my kind of commitment to my studio and life around my studio. So the two bodies of work in the show uh, that are results of my working small. And the working small is really form sketches. The small work tends to be more oriented toward the image. One of the small work came about through looking at um, these sort of cracks in the sidewalk and starting to think about kind of the political fractures of things falling apart. I've also been interested in substrates and the way that substrates have an effect on artists. So there are these substrates underneath of a, us and they seem very stable, but there are also these cracks that are in the substrate. Um, sort of what are those cracks and what's causing those cracks and what are the forces beyond what you actually see? So painting isn't so much about what you see, it's about this sort of world underneath what you see. So the other is, uh, the other series in this of small works is, the series is called Spirits, which are kind of this ephemeral, forms that um, haunt us. So the black drives the viewer's vision toward looking at the form. So the form becomes studies in form. And I wanted to concentrate on forms that seem to have sort of some dynamical systems that exert energy. So those, those are studies in forms that have a kind of life of their own. Remember that we'd been in four years of Donald Trump as president, which was kind of unsettling. So I think that sort of unsettledness was in the air already. Do I do paintings about social justice? Not really. Do I do paintings that are aspirational and philosophical? And do they grapple with kind of ways to move forward and ways to block ourselves? Yes, they always do that. I mean, I try to make beautiful objects that will provoke thought in 
the viewers that are in the presence of those objects. It's not a thought like a concept or a thought like an idea. It's just a provocation. And I mean, ideally, they'll be seen in places where people can form some sort of aesthetic relationship with them.